Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back to She Show Videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am Brittany. And I'm Elizabeth. I'm the cooler one. Don't worry about it. Uh, today we're rounding out just the tip. Ooh, just the tip. <laughs> we're rounding out. Tips just the tip. and tricks to enhance your holiday season. You look more okay. holiday than me because you have that cup. I should Thank smack you. that cup straight up. Oh my out god, the coffee's not hot, so. Away. Ah, maybe I'll sit with it in my life. Chris it's my Christmas bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> you could dye your pink like bright fiery red. No. Shape them into an ornament. I can't display that at the Christmas party. Why not? Hair is hair. Okay. No, it's not. Hair here, hair there. It's different. That's not what we're here for. Okay. <laughs> First of all, get subscribed to this channel. Yep. Okay. Do it. Outside of this mini series, just the tip, we are offering our experienced opinions on everything from buying gifts to secret topics to mostly sex. Okay? You're welcome. We are uh, Call me Sue. 30 ish and worldly AF, obviously, here in Northeast Ohio. <laughs> We already have spent our entire lives. I don't, wouldn't call us worldly. Mm -hmm. Though we've traveled a few places, we are, but we're not worldly. It's potato, potato. Today, though, we are given tips on how to set a realistic New Year's resolution. Yeah. Okay, which is tough. I've talked about this before. I think we did an episode mm -hmm. last year. I don't like to make drastic New Year's resolutions because I know I'm not going to follow through on them. I just know myself. Right. You're very predictable. We've talked about this before. Just incredibly <clears throat> predictable. I like to say I'm steady, like as the beating drum. All right, you Coco may call Mom. me Cocoa. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying I know that I'm likely not going to follow through. When I say last year I was going to run a mile every week, I ran 3.1 miles this year in the pumpkin run in October. <laughs> So I'm short of you. <laughs> so I don't like to set a big goal, and I think we should talk about that. I, you know, I like to go big or go home. So we're opposites when it comes to that, because I think that if it's too easy, then I'm gonna crush it, and then there's nothing gonna be left, okay? Can you set two goals? Yeah. Can I set like a regular goal and a stretch goal? Mm-hmm. Because for me, I just know I won't do the stretch one, but maybe it'll put more reinforcement on the little one. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that one. I so. want to make sure I run like six miles by April. <laughs> for my stretch goal? Is no. That <laughs> oh. That's where you're short. Okay. okay. The tame. Nothing goal. about me would be short. Definitely above average. Attainable goal. And then your stretch goal can be run 12 miles in one year. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that's one tactic. Set a achievable goal that you feel is easy mm -hmm. because life gets away from you sometimes, okay? Shit could get crazy in your life, okay? You could get some foster kids. You could get a divorce. You could get a disease. You could get COVID. Somebody could die. You could wreck your car. Who fucking knows, right? <laughs> a lot of things could happen. You just went over a lot of scenarios at once. Well, a lot of things could happen, and you still want to be able to reach that achievable goal. You know, okay? you can't use your life as an excuse to not reach goals all the time. I was going to say, it's not easy for a reason. So it's a goal because you have to work towards it. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. easy ones just aren't as fun, you know? Well, I'm a fan of setting two goals. Stretch goal. An easy goal. Uh, you'll be happy to know that this year, I set a goal to read one book a month. Guess how many books I read? Twelve books. I'm on my twelfth book. Now I got <laughs> only a couple days to finish it out, but I'm gonna do it. So, okay. congratulations to me. I'd like to thank me for all the hard work that I've done to achieve this goal. That's where the real thanks is due. You really should update your Scrabble what, sign. What was your goal this past year? My goal was just to be healthier. Okay. Overall healthy. I think you crushed that <clears throat> goal. And I wanted to make sure that I sustained it throughout the entire year. So I started off making like short attainable goals. Like for January, I would do like four exercises a week. You did 75 hard this year, didn't you? Yeah. And then Twice? I, 
Or once was last year and once was this year? I started 75 hard in November of last year. Okay. And then I did I did one and two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I never finished. Okay. But I didn't want to do some stage three. I'm going to be honest with you. It, was, okay. it wasn't it part of your... adding things on, like those cold showers. I was like, okay, these cold showers can really go to hell. Well, I think <laughs> hell is not cold. <laughs> Arguably, it sounds like it might be, though. I don't know. But either way. So I was like, you know what? I just feel like I've maxed capacity on this bad boy. And I really took it to the next level. So by the time that three or four days of exercise became not a big deal, I would up it to five. Then I upped it to six. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not doing anything seven days a week anyway. I'm just hanging out with you. And so We should exercise together. <clears throat> I exercise consistently for six to seven days every week. And I really Which is much healthier than you were last year. So yeah. you achieved that goal. I mean, I am healthy AF. So while we're talking about goals, New Year's resolution type goals, do you set a word of the year? Of course I set a word okay. of the year. What is, do you know what your word of the year for 2023 is going to be? Yes. So, you know, I've been having somebody help me set like goals and like take pictures and like keep my biometrics and everything. So we actually decided about this because, well. Together. Yeah. My last month, actually it was my birthday month that I got a little wonky. I got a little off track of the things that we were setting to accomplish together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think for our last like big meeting was the start of December. So it was like at the very end, tail end of November. Right after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. She asked me like what my goals were for next year. And I told her that, you know, I just wanted to become more defined. Like at this point, I don't really feel that losing weight is a necessity to my life. I would like to be more muscular and more defined, which means I need to eat more protein and start tracking every day and start doing the things that I really find that are like painful to me. Like, like macro yeah. type tracking. Oh yeah. So I find that to be, I'm one of those people who just finds it to be painful. Like I don't want to go on my fitness pal every single day for yeah, every single day. It meal. is hard. Yeah. And I just know that I don't do well at it. So we did have the discussion about like making it a quote unquote obsession. So that's my word of the year is becoming obsessed okay. with my nutrition. I like that. Okay. That's, you don't seem excited. I it am seems nervous, like a, but it is a hard goal. It's a goal that I will have goal. to work to achieve every single day. But look at what you achieved without the tracking. Like mm -hmm. how much different you look now, feel now, like how much energy you have, all of that jazz. So imagine if you can layer that on to right. what you've already done. You're like breaking barriers left and right. So I feel that she hit the nail. Like we came to a agreements together mm -hmm. and I feel like she hit the nail on the head I just have to wrap my head around it and again last year I wasn't so keen on working out three four times a week mm -hmm. but now look at me so uh -huh. you got to start somewhere I have no idea what my word is <laughs> I like how you asked me but it's then so, don't have a so on. at work last week I actually had to run like our team meeting so I had to like ask the icebreaker question and I asked everyone what their word was hoping to get some ideas for me for 2023 and nobody gave you a good idea? No, because I like a word that is versatile and fits like different aspects of my life. So if I picked the word like push, right, it would be like push the boundaries at work and my relationship and my friendships, right? If it's like achieve, then that's like professional goals. Like I want it mm -hmm. to be able to Curl. span, mm -hmm. but I just haven't found anything that makes me feel like that's the word I can look back to when I start to feel lost or sad or you know, whatever. Okay. So I haven't found the word yet. If you have any ideas for me, push might be a good one because it's also like a sexual term. You know, I'm trying to be the initiator all year. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I'm still looking, but I do encourage everyone to pick a word because yep. I find it grounding, right? So again, if you, if your life starts to feel chaotic or you start to feel like mm -hmm. out of control in any one aspect, you have like that foundational Focus. term, mm -hmm. right? That you can look back to and say, remember, this is what is guiding me this year. So what can I do to center back on this word? So I think, I think I'm going to get one. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll let you know. You're going to get Maybe one. Maybe when I post this video, I'll have it and it'll be in the comments. Or not. I don't know. 
But those are good you tips. You have days. Well, days, plural, I know. If you break that down to hours, that's a lot of time. It's a 26, and is, this month has 31? When this, yeah. Okay, so you got five. Yes. <laughs> when this video drops, it'll be, this is just the tips on Wednesday, so mm -hmm. I don't have that many days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. You, you really need to. But those are our tips, okay? Pick a, a, an achievable goal and a stretch goal. I think that will help people. I agree. Okay, and find a word to focus on and give yourself grace. We always talk about that. Absolutely. Okay? Don't be all willy-nilly loosey-goosey on yourself, okay? You gotta have some standards and hold yourself accountable, but don't beat yourself up because that really defeats the purpose. Also, find an accountability partner. I feel mm. like that's what really triggered me to like push one. me forward this year. Because even when I didn't see success, she like, I mean, it is her job to monitor my success in a way, but like she monitored my success. And then that's what like, when I didn't feel like I was achieving goals, she reminded me that I was definitely mm. achieving goals that I didn't even- Different perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Don't pick someone who's gonna be like, oh yeah, you do, you're doing great, even if they know you're not doing great. Pick someone who's actually gonna hold you accountable, and when you go after month eleven, she's gonna be like, bitch, you fell off. What happened? Okay. <laughs> Eek. Uh huh. So you need a good accountability partner. I think that's a good. Don't one pick too. Elizabeth. I already told him when you were talking. I was like, <laughs> okay. okay. I'm not. We should get a drink. That's what no. If you achieve something, we get a drink. If you don't achieve it, we should get a drink. Like, that's basically, we could get a skinny margarita. I don't know. Those are more expensive. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Those are too expensive. You're right. Okay. All right, so tell us what's your word, what's your goal, who's your accountability partner, tag them in this post. Happy 2023. I know, it's coming in hot and ready. Like me. Except I'm way more than $5. All right, okay. guys. We Bye, guys. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Five dollars for this hot box. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it hot? Because it's hot and ready. <laughs>